Hello. Yeah. All right, guys, I know you can't see my face. So we're on our way to the Conjuring House. We're very excited, except for Jess. Jess is not excited for this. We're gonna be there in literally three minutes. And I honestly didn't think I'd be back here, but here we are. We're going here and then we're gonna go to Salem. Okay, we're gonna be pulling up to the notorious Conjuring Casa. We're here, we're here. Hello. Let me in now and it can be nice. I'm so excited. Occurred. That's clearly drunk. What, what, what? What? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley, and today we are at the famous Conjuring House, the real Conjuring House in Rhode Island. As you can tell, I already have my sweatshirt from the last time. So if you don't know, this is the real house that the Conjuring is based on. So the actual parent family lived within this house and experienced all that torment for I think it's about a decade they lived here. And I wrote down all the room names and stuff. We already got a tour of the house. So this is gonna be super, super interesting. Definitely has a vibe to it. While we're going through the tour, all the lights were going up and down. This was previously known as the Arnold Estate. I'm not gonna give a whole history because yeah, but we're gonna go in, it's starting to rain. Let's check out the outside of the house. This is the back of the house. Yeah, we're gonna go in soon. It's kind of weird because when we first came here, it was sunny and now it's dark. So I don't really know what that's all about. I don't think I'm going down there anymore. What was that? We just heard something in that closet move. What What just something was clearly moved. Okay guys, I'm sorry if the mic sounds terrible. We are going to do an investigation. It's RJ. It's just the two of us in this house right now because my sister and mom left because they got scared because we just heard, it almost sounded like somebody like moved a piece of furniture downstairs. Maybe like um, a chair maybe or? Yeah, so a REM pod, we have a voice recorder and we have a spirit box. I completely forgot to bring like a plug to do the S's method, so I don't think I'll be doing that today. This room in the middle is the former dining room. This is actually where the whole seance with Carolyn Perrin happened. When we were getting the tour earlier, all the lights were kind of flickering. I'm sorry if I'm shaking. It's a surreal feeling for sure. We were really brave and we're like, let's go in the basement. Now that I'm like, I heard that thing, I don't know if I want to go down there anymore. It's a whole different vibe than you think it would be this house, so. Reset it, see it just goes off and gets close to it. Like I said before, we don't mean any harm at all. It's trying to track something over here. It kept doing the gray box. Kind of where that barrel is. You see everyone? I'm seeing it again. It keeps trying to track the face by that barrel. But it's low, so it's like you're maybe a kid. Four. Four? You said four, right? Four, I heard one, four. There's four people in the house right now. Me, you, yeah, the tour guide, house. and then the spirit. Oh my god. I think that's drums. That sounds like drums. That did sound like drums. That, I think that was drums. That was drums. It was. I have that camera over there. Hopefully that picked it up. It's like faint. Very yeah, faint. Yeah, that's how it is too. So. We basically felt like we heard drums like coming from this way. It didn't sound like a car's music. It sounded like like drums, like people say they hear. They you know, just tried to lock onto another face right down there, the bottom of the cabin. You know what? If it was like dragging a chair across the wood, it would have had a different sound. Oh my God, it's, look, it's locking on to something. Look. It is. Yeah. Right on the chest. It's gone now? Yeah. That's crazy. The house has a different vibe today than it did the last time we came here. You know what's kind of creepy too? Yeah. That is the upstairs room. Oh, I know. I kept seeing that upstairs. I was like, the vent. what? That's a car. Yeah. That was a car. Yeah. So you could rule out that thumping or drums was not a car. Yeah, we're good. Oh, look, they have the microphone too. I know, I was looking at it before. Crew. <laughs> Coming in here. Hello, hello. Hello, hi. We're going to put you guys here. Uh, oh my fucking god. That was the same thing, right? That was that same noise. That Guys, I just turned my camera off. off. And yes. keep in mind, there's nobody in that room. Same exact spot. You know, it almost sounds like upstairs. Well, we went upstairs, though. There was nothing moved. But it sounded too loud for it to be downstairs. Yeah, you're right. 
apparently the tour guide she said that there was people trespassing playing the ouija board this right here yeah, is yeah. carolyn and roger perrin's former yeah. bedroom it is now a it's now a library this is apparently where carolyn perrin was tormented all right oh my god Oh my god. I felt that on the ground. Wait, guys, something just moved third, again. Third time. It felt like place. was it Yeah. The um it's on this side of the house cuz we keep hearing it. I felt it on the ground. I, I felt it. The vibration. It was like a drag. It's yes. the third time the third that drag. Time, three times. Okay, let's just sit in here again. I'm scared. <laughs> Clearly, drums. 100%. It sounds like a band, like a boom. Yeah, exactly. That is the weirdest thing. Okay, I got it. I think this time I got it. I hope it picked hopefully, it up. Hopefully, hopefully. It's gone now. Comes in very faint. Gets a little louder. That was the loudest. We just heard the drumming again. It doesn't sound like a car driving by. It's like loud enough where it sounds like like the drums. I'm not sure if you guys hear it in that video, but it was so loud that I was trying to get my camera out as fast as I could. We got scared because we heard the dragging again, like literally two more times. It sounds like somebody is on this floor dragging something. I don't know what it is. We even felt it. I was standing like in that other room over there. I felt it on the ground like something was dragged. I just don't know where it is coming from. We're trying to debunk it. Not that we don't think that this stuff could do it in here. I, I think you guys could do everything in this place. Okay, I'm not trying to knock you guys at all. We're just trying to do that because we're kind of scared. It's so much heavier in this middle room. I think we said that last time. This middle room is very, very heavy. I don't that know That one's what. off. What? It's off, right? Oh, my, cam my camera's off. Wait, what? Like completely, even... Oh my god. Completely off, not even the screen just blocked. I'm so scared. I don't want to look back at it right now. I'm not looking back. I wonder when they even turn it off. Let's see how long it even off for. It moved. Okay, I'm not, look I'm not looking at that. You're right, it, it did. It moved, right? Okay, let's go back in here. So this camera, when we went in there just now, turned off and I think it might have moved. That middle room feels super yeah. heavy. We would like to know that picture in the corner of the room. Who is that? Me? You just want to say me? Yeah. Yeah? Well, what's your name? I? I? That was a woman's voice too. You, I? Do you have a name? Girl? Girl. Are you from the Arnold family? This is Howard. Would you be able to give us a name? This said something, but I don't know what it said. Can you repeat that for me? Yeah, it's getting a little bit better again. Okay. Hello. You're not allowed to touch us. It's because of the... No, no. Oh. No. No. You're not allowed to touch us, but you are allowed to use our equipment. That's not a coincidence that was going off like that. Yeah, no. No, it has to be like this. Even then it's not. Guys, it's not doing anything now. Which part of the house are you most comfortable in? Any. I don't have any electronics in my hand. If you look, it's not even going off right now. Hello. It's locking on with something down there, but I don't know if that's accurate. I'm going to put on this REM pod. Thank you so much. What, what? <gasps> Please come step by the red light on the floor if you would like to communicate more with us. If you'd like to continue to make this meter spike like you've been doing as well, feel free. Sorry if I'm shaky. No, I'm, I'm really, <laughs> it really, just went I'm up. really. It like, <gasps> thank you. Thank you so much. It is so nice to meet you. How about if you're a man, make it spike up a little bit. All right, cool. Hi. Hello. How's it going? You talk, because it's, it's answering you. It might want to talk to a man if it's a man. You know how back in the day they respected men? Yeah. So, if you could, it would be very nice. Uh, would you be kind enough to go up to the red light? The black uh, cylinder on the ground with the red top and the red light. Could you go up to that and hit it for me? Just touch it if you would like. Go near it. That is spiking like crazy. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's right here. Start up a lot. That confirms you that you're a man. Yeah, can you put it up to whatever color you'd like if you don't like the red light on the floor? Does that bother you? I'll turn it off right now if you don't like it. Okay, I'll turn all it right, off. we'll turn it off. Thank you so much for letting no me know problem. that. No problem. That's no problem at all. We respect you so much and we don't want to do anything that makes you feel uncomfortable. So we turn that off. Thank you for letting us know. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. Now, are you part of the Arnold family that used to live here? Make a spike up a good amount if uh, part of the family. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wow. Are you John Arnold by any chance? Is that your name, John Arnold? 
it is such a pleasure to meet you. Thank you so, so, so thank much you. for talking to us. It's really an honor to meet you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Do you like it better with only the two of us here? Does it give you more room to feel more comfortable? Crazy, because when you go to ask the question, it, stops. it goes down. And it does like maybe like up to that second green, but that's it. Is there anyone else in the room with us, or is it just you? you can go ahead and spike it up to uh, whatever color you would like, if it's uh, more it... than just us three. Thank you. Thank you, wow. Thank you for talking to us. Just you even talking to us is not so nice of you. You know what's nuts is that didn't go off once last time. No, not once. You know what? And he wasn't doing the REM pod because he didn't like the REM pod. That's why he wasn't touching it. Mm -hmm. My Track. temperature's too high in my camera. I went down 10% just in the past five minutes. Mine's really hot. It never gets like this. Yeah. Our cameras can track faces. I'm gonna and right you. over by that staff only door in that barrel, it was detecting a little gray box. It just did again. Could you spike it up uh, if it really is detecting a face or if it's just the malfunction in the camera well if he's standing over here though then how would it make that go yeah, off right. so there might be more people can you put it up to any color you'd like if you're still here with us huh. see that's what makes it more crazy is when it doesn't go off thank you that was a really cool experience thank you for the answers we got it's not the ground either because he's not even going off faults on the ground we turned off the cameras we're we're just we're talking to you we're, we're not only concentrating on you we want to confirm who were we talking to uh like five minutes ago Were you playing the drums for us outside just now? I feel more comfortable in here than that room is that so scary. Room. Yeah. Oh. She said, are you okay? She just said, are you okay? And it's going up. Do you not like when we go on the phone, or do you like that energy? Because I see that it's spiking to red. Are you using the energy from the phone? Wow, that is nuts. That was probably the that loudest was, we've heard it. Not only the loudest time we heard it, but I felt like I heard it over there that time. It's coming closer. <laughs> that was like a lot. I was trying to keep track. Then it was a fifth. Or probably. Four. Fifth or sixth. That's happened a lot. If I go on my phone, does it go up? No. If I pick up my Okay. When you pick it up, do you not like him going on his phone? But it's not possible for it to be from your phone because it's yeah, too far. Yeah, look how far away it is. It's not every time I pick it up either, so it's not like... It would have to be right on top of it. Yeah. Are you making the back of her neck hurt? Oh, it just went off. It did. We have just been sitting here talking to whoever's in this room with us because before we asked if it didn't want the camera on, I think I got it on video and it said no. So I've been just voice recording this whole time and we heard drums so loud. It almost sounded like it was getting closer. I don't know what to say. That's really crazy. So I'm Filming again? Go on your phone again. Let's see if it does that. Because it seems to like to go. So oh. Pick it up? Yeah. Do you not like when I on. pick up my phone? Are you just feeding off of the, the energy from our phones? Yeah. Oh, jeez. It's going up to red. Do you like when he's on his phone? Please make it go up to red if you do. That's perfect. Thank you so much. He like They like when you go on your phone. Yeah, they, so you like it. We'll keep the phone on then. That's great. Thank you so much for letting us know that. It's almost like they're marching around the forest. We heard them over there before. Now I feel like it's over there. It's like that was different from a car because the car came. The car. We and heard a car pass. Heard the car. Yep. Just for reference, guys, if you look, even when we go by it and tapping, it's not going off. So even if we were here and we're not tapping our feet anyways, it's going off by itself. This right here is the kitchen. Well, the now dining room of the Conjuring House. The kitchen's in here. We are in the kitchen now of the Conjuring House, but we are eating. We're not <laughs> We're not doing anything like that right now. A nice red bowl. So I filmed the whole mukbang. I don't think you guys saw any of it, so that's fun. I went in the kitchen and got a fork. I don't think you saw that either. Okay. Now, I'm not sure where they got this from. George's. Let's try this out. Really good. I'm gonna eat now. And I took a sip of Red Bull too. We are in the library, aka Roger and Carolyn Parents' former bedroom. If anything would like to talk to us in this room, please make that little red light go off or make this EMF meter spike. I know before you were more comfortable, well, whoever we were talking to before, I think it was John, was more comfortable with the EMF meter in my hand. Yep, exactly. Thank you. So we are still talking to John. Thank you so much. I'm not sure if it's still. Hello, thank you so much. I'm not sure if it's the same person that we're talking to in this room. The EMF meter just spiked. Of course, when I turn my camera off. If I come by. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's crazy, yeah. Oh, oh wait, it's not you because it's, it's not, not doing you. it. Yeah, so. 
Does it like my every phone? time he goes on the phone, every, every time, time he goes on the phone, it goes off. No, but it's not the phone. It's too far. You have to be right up onto it to do it. Are you using the energy from RJ on the phone? Thank you. Thank you yeah, so much. Are we still talking to John? I'm not talking to John. What's Are we talking to somebody else? If we're talking to a man, can you make the lights go up? So it's a man. Would you like for us to go into the living room? The former dining room, right behind the meter. Would you like us to go in there? Thank you, okay. I'm glad you would like to talk to us in there. And now, I would also like to ask, would you like us to use this, this device right here? Make it color if you would like us to. Okay, I didn't want to use it if you were comfortable with it, but since you're comfortable, I'll 100% use it. Thank you. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. It's like they just walked out. Okay, so we'll they... meet you in the room. We got some Annabelle dolls in here. We are now in the former dining room, aka the living room. This is the room where the seance with Carolyn Perrin yeah. occurred. The EMF meter is going off. So we're gonna sit here. If you like to come sit with us, I put the little light on the chair. If there's anybody here that would like to talk to us, please make one of the lights either on the floor or on the mantle go off. This just spite. You just made the EMF meter go off when I said that we we're going to go into a different room. Would you like that? Oh wait, actually no, I just said if you don't make anything go off, we're gonna go in the new room. And it went off. Thank you so much for talking to us. Use our phone battery, it is completely okay. I know that it requires a good amount of energy to do that. Thank you. Thank you so much. I must like say thank you too. It is so lovely to talk to you. Thank you. So is this not the same person we're talking to in the library? Like I said, please feel free to use the energy from our phones, but not from us. It would be so awesome if you can make that red light go off over there. Just touch the little silver antenna. Is it too hard for you to do? If it is, please make the EMF meter go off again, any color. Okay, understandable. Was this the woman that we were talking to in the other room? If it is, please make the EMF meter go off. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. it could be a different woman. Is this somebody that tormented Carolyn Perrin? Okay, well, I think we're going to go into another room. Oh, it's going off. We're going to go upstairs now. We got a good amount here, but it doesn't seem like they want to talk to us in here anymore. It is a woman's spirit that we're talking to, so that's really cool. Oh, yeah, see, it's going off again. Hello. Thank you. This room is now, was, Nancy and Christine's room. Nancy and Christine Perrin, one of the youngest Perrin family members, talked to Oliver in this little room right here. Also, apparently, the tour guide showed us there is a handprint on the wall. Hello, if you don't want to talk to us, that is 100% okay, and we will move on to the next room. So we're going to move on to this middle room. Yeah, it's going off. Going off. I think it, I that could also be the floor. You guys even know that there was a bell? Just Chucky. If Oliver is in here, we'd love to talk to you, but if you also don't want to talk to us, that is completely fine as well. I know that this was a warm space within the house because of the chimney. We got this all set up. We're going to go downstairs, and we'll be back. We went downstairs because my camera battery died really quick because I told them that they can use the energy, which is completely fine fine so we don't have way too much time left this is my third battery which it went really quick i left this camera in here with the REM pod and the emf meter we're going to take these into the next room we're gonna move on we are now in cindy and april's room aka the middle room of the house upstairs and this is said to be one of the most haunted rooms upstairs because it's apparently aligned with the library former carolyn and roger parents bedroom along with the downstairs where like, there's a sitting area we did see the basement earlier we really don't feel comfortable going down there that was our plan originally but don't want to do that anymore so <laughs> we're not going to do that if you're here it's a whole different energy and you'll understand personally i don't feel safe going in the basement my camera just shut off by the way, guys, this window, the tour guy was saying that it was probably built in separate parts of this house. The first part being the kitchen, and then this being the second part, I'm guessing, because there's a window, which this might have been like a window to the outside, but it could also just be a spare window. There I am, conjuring house fun. Over here is Andrea Perrin's room. Oh, hi, hello. Hello. Hi, it's so nice to talk to you. Did you make the meter spike when I mentioned Andrea Perrin? Is that the reason why? So I'm gonna put the recorder right next to you. If you don't wanna talk to us, that is 100% okay. But this is your home and we're simply here visiting it. If you can maybe refrain from using the camera batteries because this is all we have. I mean, but if it really helps you, thank you. Okay, so I'm so happy this phone's helping you. Um, so, hi, thank you. Thank you, are you a- What, what, what? What, what mom, what? Hi, thank you. Thank you, are you a- What, what, what? What, mom, what? what? It's probably you guys. You have to realize. Oh, it was us. We're standing still. Is it a child that we're talking to? Again, use our, use uh, our. So Hi. Oh, is this, sure. is this Oliver? No, we're sorry. We scared you. By Hi, you. Oliver. Wow. Hello. It is so nice to meet you. My name's Ashley. I'm Arthur. Um. Hi. I'm Jessica. Sure, you're tired. I'm exhausted. I'm. I'm so happy you're having a good night. I'd love for you to use the energy from my phone because I don't need it. From my camera. <laughs> just. I'm sorry to swear in front of you. 
<laughs> so you sorry. know what I noticed? He gets energy from us being scared. Yeah, look at all the toys in here. They're so cool. I see you have an arcade card. You like the arcade card? So we are now in Andrea Perrin's former bedroom. This is not the chalkboard that she got. It's a different one, but she did get a chalkboard one time for her birthday. And then the birthing room is also right next to it. It's apparently super dark. Reset it. And I will put the EMF meter, this device right here. I'll put it onto the couch. I'm sure you've heard us throughout every single room, but we mean absolutely no harm towards you. I love the whole story of this house and I am only here to respect it. We are all only here to respect it. So I have a recording device right here. If you would like to talk into it, feel free to if you don't want to. That is also fine. Um, you're not expected to do anything. This is your house, it's your property. There. Use the energy from my phone, hello. I understand that from other spirits we talked to in this house, that that REM pod, the red light on the floor is very hard to use and that's completely fine i just asked whoever's in here with us if they don't like the camera on just because the emf meter just went off while the camera was off so i'm gonna turn the camera off for a little bit i do have the recording going i'm gonna see you guys in a few minutes well actually you'll hear the recording so okay my camera's off and um if you don't want to talk to us and just don't make anything go off and we'll check out the birthing room and then we'll be going so i feel like it means like no it wants us to stay if that means because i said don't make anything go off if you want us to it doesn't seem like it likes the camera i can turn the camera off again oh, okay so you don't like the camera that is completely fine okay this is in. wow hi i'm happy that you don't you know that you're telling us how you feel because we don't want to disrespect you if you don't like the camera shining on you it's so nice to meet you is this oliver from the middle bedroom from the last bedroom we're in is this somebody else that we're talking to oh hello it's, it's so nice to meet you if it's a man then then make the colors go up if it's not a man then don't do anything with it is this a woman that we're talking to is this another child if you're still in this room can you please just confirm it with by making the um meter okay hi so what is do you not want to answer our questions? Maybe it's just not on the animal room. Just went on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. So we're going to go in the birthing room. We're not going to go in. We're just going to check it out. Right. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to come touch the EMF meter um, if that's okay. So, okay. Thank you. Oh. Every time I went to touch it, it went to red. Is that from you? No. Nothing's on. Do you not like me touching the EMF meter? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I thought you wanted to not maybe talk it, anymore. Maybe it wants it. Whatever we're talking to, it could be like, to be able to do I would have just did it. I went towards it. It felt cold too. Like this would be I thought I was filming, but I guess I wasn't. So we had the EMF meter on the chair, and when I said that I was going to take it and go, I reached forward, and it went to red, and I reached again, and it went to red every time I tried to grab it. So I thought I didn't want me to take it. I don't know. I don't think it really wanted to talk to us, which is fine. It's completely fine if it doesn't want to. So we are going to look in the birthing room now. I could be going crazy, but it did feel a little cold when I went to grab it and when it went off, but it just could be me too, because sometimes when you're in places like this, you could make up things in your head as well so we're gonna look in the birthing room then we're gonna get going it is already 12 and i know we have the whole night but we really don't want to stay the whole night it doesn't seem like anything likes to use this so i'm just not gonna even you gotta pull it oh no i think i'm just doing it wrong yeah exactly it's, it's not forcing it hello if there's anybody that likes to talk to us in here just make this little light go off but if you don't want to talk that's completely fine as well we're going to close it thank you that's the basement, we're not going down there. This is apparently how they cooked. That's pretty cool. And also, that is apparently where Andrea Perrin cut out a hole to make the house more warm too, which is pretty cool. Thank you guys so much for watching this awesome Conjuring video. I know we didn't go in the basement, but we're not trying to do that. Just the energy felt really off, so we're good. But if you guys liked it, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Also be sure to comment down below. Other videos you guys like to see on my channel, I'm heading to Salem now. So look forward to more Salem content as you guys have seen on my channel if you follow me already. Yeah, so that was really fun. Comment down below if you guys caught anything in this video that I didn't hear or that I didn't like spot. This is a beautiful home and if you end up coming here, make sure you respect it as well because there are people or spirits that are here. I hope you guys have a super, super, super amazing day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.